My name is Luke Burns, and I'm a fourth year OBGYN resident at the University of Michigan. There's nothing quite like that transition from medical school to residency, suddenly being responsible, not just as a learner, but also as a teacher. I think of a Venn diagram, and on the one side is everything I've learned about how to be a good resident, and on this side, everything I've learned about how to be a good doctor. There's a little bit of overlap, but really that first circle, the resident skills, people enter residency totally unprepared for that. I think a lot of medical students come into residency thinking it's going to be somewhat on par with being a medical student as far as the responsibilities and the hours and the mental toll. But truly, it's almost like a doubling of that experience. It's almost twice as stressful and as challenging and as detrimental to your well-being as it is in medical school. There's a lot of research to suggest that medical students and residents are some of the most vulnerable people to stress, to burnout, and even to suicide. There's no point in your career really that is, is at its most dramatic than when you have your first year as a resident. Targeting this particularly vulnerable time in our education is a really important way to catch these people who are at the most risk of coming to harm as a result of this training process that we have to go through. I am Karen George, and I am the chair of CREOG, which is the Council of Resident Education and Obstetrics and Gynecology. It is a, an incredibly stressful period of time for new physicians. They're entering feeling unprepared or very isolated. There's really an opportunity to make that process more supported. So RECA is the Ready for Intern Year curriculum and assessment and it's a helpful way for residents to connect with their new program, to be supported by the other members of the group, and to concentrate on what they could do in that time to be ready when they get there. So the curriculum includes four components in a virtual community learning platform that deals with resilience and gratitude, time management, giving and receiving feedback, and developing a mission statement for their class that aligns with the values and goals of their new program. The other part of the work that we're doing is creating a self-assessment tool for residents so that they can think about their own readiness in terms of their knowledge and skills. Once they identify the gap, they'll be connected to resources to help them fill those gaps that will transition into the resident learning community. The idea is to provide each resident group with a coach to talk about other things that might not come up within the context of the curriculum. And once they get there, those ties will be well-established. They'll be supporting each other. They'll be supported by their residency. So our hope is that this will really provide a way for a less stressful transition going forward.